Now let's get text to speech into the app. So when we press an audio button, it will play the audio of the language. So for example, the Chinese will be played or whatever language you would like. So the first step to getting this working is to import a really cool package called Flutter TTS. So in installing, copy the dependency, pubspec.yaml, paste this under the other dependencies and run pubget. Now the first thing that you'll need to check is in the app, in the build gradle, the minimum SDK version is 21 or higher. So here I've set that as 21. So that's required for this package. Okay, so now we have the package installed into the app. The first thing is, we'll go to components and into the flashcards folder and we'll create an audio button that when pressed will play the text to speech. So here we'll create a new Dart file and we'll name this TTS for text to speech button. We'll create a new stateful widget. Okay, that's done. So now let's set up a button. To do that, we'll use the icon button widget. Here we have an on pressed callback, which will run when the button is pressed, and an icon. So we'll set the icon, icons dot, and a whole lot of different options. So we'll select audio track here. Okay, so we have the set up. Now let's go to card display and place that widget we've just created. So here we have side one of the card and here is side two. So we'll place this on side two. So we'll write TTS button here that'll place the widget. Let's flip the card around. And now we can see a small audio icon at the bottom of the card. Cool, okay, so that is working. Let's jump back to the TTS button. Now let's update this a little bit. I wanna update the size, increase that to 50. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Also wrap in an expanded, and therefore the layout's gonna be proportional with the other children. And in the on press, let's just put a print function for the meantime. So now if we tap that icon, we can see run TTS has printed out. Now let's make it more obvious the icon has been tapped. So we can do that by changing the color of the icon just for a moment. So that'll give the illusion that it's being tapped. So to do that, we'll create a private variable of type ball. I'll name this is tapped, underscore to indicate that it's private. We'll set that to false. Then when on pressed, runs and inside this function we'll set is tapped to true we then need to call set state which will rebuild this widget tree here now after a short moment we want to set that button color back to the original color so we use a future to do that future dot delayed put in a duration Then in here, in the function, we can write is tapped and set that back to false. And we also need to call set state here. Okay, so now we can use that to update the color. So here, we'll set color and we'll use that variable as a condition. Is tapped, question mark. So if this is true, is tapped has the value of true, then the color, let's set that to yellow and we'll use the constant we created, so k yellow. Otherwise, if is tapped is false, then this color will run, and that'll be a white color. Okay, now let's test that. So the icon is white. Cool, we tap it and it turns yellow just for a moment. So there we have a nice little effect that we're actually tapping the icon. All right, cool. So we've now set up the UI to play the audio. Let's actually get the audio running. So we use Flutter TTS, which we've set up just before. So the first step is let's create an instance. Flutter TTS, select that.
then Flutter TTS, we'll name this instance TTS. Okay, so we have an instance set up. Now the first thing is, let's set up how we want it to run. So I'll create a method, and I'll name this set up TTS. And here we're dealing with asynchronous code, so I'll write async in the method. And I'm going to make that private as well. So I'll add the underscore. Okay, so here we can write TTS dot, and the first thing is we want to set the language. So in this case, we'll set it to Chinese, which is ZH dot CN, that's the language code. And because we're dealing with the future, we'll use the await keyword here. Now here, if you'd like to see all the other languages that can be run instead of Chinese, we can use TTS and get languages, and then we'll call the then method, which will run a callback when the future completes. And here we can just write in print the value, so that'll print all the different language codes that could be typed in here. So for example, if you want this text-to-speech to use Japanese or German or whatever language you want, you can just type the code in here. So a whole lot of other different languages. Okay, so we have a method to set up our TTS to set the language. We need to call this. We'll call this from the init state. Okay, so let's run this and see how it looks. All right, cool. So here we can see a whole lot of different language codes here. All right, so now that we have the language code, remove that. Also, I want to set up the speech rate. So here we can pass in a double from zero to one and we'll make it slightly slower. We'll make it 0 0.4. And now that we've set that up, we'll create one more method, run TTS. And we need to pass in what word should be spoken. Name that text. And here we'll add the async keyword and await. And this is super duper easy. We can go tts.speak. And now we just need to pass in the text and that'll play. Okay, so when we tap the button we want to run the method so now we need to pass in the text that we want spoken so therefore we'll get the text by provider so from our flashcards notifier class so we can wrap this with a consumer Okay, so now we can use this notifier variable that we created and we'll pass in word one, doesn't really matter. And then we'll select character because we want the Chinese spoken. And lastly, when we dispose of this widget, we'll call stop on the instance of TTS. Okay, let's test this. We'll do a hot restart and start from the beginning. So we have seashell and cool, we have that read out. Swipe that away. Cool, so now that we have text to speech set up, in the next video we'll create a pop-up box which will appear after the cards are completed and we can then retest all of the cards which were answered incorrectly. Thank you.